So with this, I was just reading that with this stimulus package that um, came out, um, the uh, the Fed is buying back $250 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities. And that's causing, um, evidently causing margin calls for mortgage, right. mortgage lenders, which is a huge problem. So mm -hmm. this may not be the space to ask that question if we need to talk about it somewhere else. But I'm just curious how that's going to affect uh, the ability for people to get mortgages, the ability for banks to continue lending if they go bankrupt. And it's gonna, to it's it going us. to, that's a good question, Jim. It's going to freeze up the credit markets. The bottom line is people will not be able to go get home loans um, for a period of time until they get this thing sorted out. All the banks are going to sit on their hands and do nothing for a while. It's the exact same thing. I mean, you'd think that we'd have got smarter in the last 20 years, but see, or the last 10 years, it's the exact same thing that happened in 2008 where they couldn't figure out how to get money into the economy. And so they ended up giving it to the banks. That's essentially what they do when they buy the what's called repo money. In other words, let's say Bank of America loans out their own money to, to a borrower who wants to buy a house, right? And they do this a million times. And so Bank of America may have, you know, $80 billion of their own cash tied up in these loans that's making them, you know, four or 5% or three or whatever they're charging. <clears throat> the Fed comes in and buys all that and says, we'll give you 80, mil 80 billion cash and you give us those mortgages. We'll buy mortgage backed securities, exact same thing that happened. Uh, in fact, if you guys ever want to see exactly how, in line by line, how this works, watch the movie too big to fail. Because there's an explanation in there where they're sitting around the Treasury Secretary's office where they actually go through the mortgage-backed security thing and how this works. And they do it in plain English. It's really good. It's a good watch. Um, but that's exactly what's happening now. <clears throat> they're buying that money back and they're giving B of A $80 billion, let's say, back to increase their liquidity. But what happens is that triggers all of these margin calls. So in other words, this thing's all built on a house of cards anyway, right? Um, they're loaning money they don't really have, just like our government is printing money they don't really have. They're just printing it and calling it money. And it's not real. It's not backed by anything.